A strong healthcare system can be considered as one of the best pillars of a comprehensive development program of a given country. As such, the question of healthcare access is a key priority in Eritrea. The Ministry of Health, in partnership with government bodies and stakeholders, has been continuously striving to provide pertinent healthcare service in the country. Statistics reports indicate that tremendous achievements have been scored in controlling the spread of TB, HIV AIDS, as well as others, such as kidney diseases, in which the first treatment in Eritrea dates back to 1996. Here in Eritrea, numerous people suffer from acute kidney failure with small amount of chronic ones. With an objective of strengthening mutual partnership and tackling the issue of kidney failure in Eritrea, a dialysis center has been established at the Orota Refer Hospital here in Asmara on the 21st of January 2008 following an accord reached between the Ministry of Health and Asthma of Calabria Association, comprising a group of nephrologists and professionals from Calabria region in Italy. I think in Eritrea um, is a big opportunity because the standard is the European and Italian standard here. And when I talk with Roberto and Francesco, uh, we talk about this situation. And the most important thing, and this dialysis center now can walk alone. This is really, really good for Eritrean people, for Eritrean doctor. And I think it's important that the uh, uh, Ministry of Health with Dr. Germay and all the staff uh, supported us on this project. And maybe we can grow up with this project in other, in other situation. And we are here and uh, we want help. We want, okay, not help because uh, you have a good uh, health system now, but we want to improve with you. Asthma of Calabria has been operating the hemodialysis center in Eritrea, the only public treatment for hemodialysis patients existing and running in the entire continent of Africa, if not in the world. The dialysis center is comprised of modern medical equipment, including artificial kidney and water purifying machines, which are of the highest standards both in scope and quality. Okay, the new center with other six, six, and two, eight places. Okay, with our patients. How much time does it take to finish the procedure, the dialysis? Uh, dialysis is during uh, four hours, okay. and they must do two or three times a week. A week? Ah, of course, of course. But they survive. If they, they don't, they did. This is one artificial kidney. Is one artificial kidney Fresenius. Fresenius is a company bigger in the world for artificial kidney. But not only this, reverse osmosis machine and um, every 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 in this dialysis center is like in Italy, like in Europe, but not in Europe, like in Italy, because I think I'm Italian. I think Italy is the first in the world for nephrology and uh, I think in this moment Eritrea is the first in Africa, sure. As part of the endeavors to expand services, another dialysis center was opened at Sembel Hospital in Asmara in 2014, thus reducing the workload at the Orota Refer Hospital. When Eritreans residing abroad come to Eritrea for vacation or holidays, they can now receive dialysis treatment at Sembel Hospital, which is of the best standard in Europe. The establishment of the dialysis centers is indeed a great relief for Eritrean patients, who have been suffering from both acute and chronic renal failures.
in 2014, we, did an, uh, we made another dialysis center in St. Bell. The dialysis center in St. Bell is not only for residents, but too for Eritrean people that live in other countries in the world, in Europe, in the USA, and in this country they uh, do dialysis. Now, like uh, dialysis in Eritrea, they can come here for a holiday to visit a relative, son, nephew, um, and uh, they, uh, they, um, when they arrive, they they told us, uh, but it's the same like in Germany, in Italy, in French, in uh, USA, or it's better. Once in a while, they say it's better than in uh, in the country where usually we do. Uh, the The Asthma of Calabria Association is operating an Eritrea under a motto Kidney for Life with an objective of not only providing economic assistance, which is expressed through a supply of highly sophisticated technology and relative spare parts and maintainers, but above all through training Eritrean nurses, medical doctors, but also technicians so that they can work effectively all year round. We begin in 2008 to teach uh, nurses and uh, doctors and technicians. Now, the dialysis work with its leg, uh, Eritrean leg, okay? okay? Doctors, uh, nurses and technicians. Yes. In uh, that room, uh, now, Teclit, Eritrean technicians, uh, repair artificial kidney broken. You can, uh, you can see him. This room uh, repair machine when uh, broken during dialysis and this uh, Eritrean technicians and uh, during repair uh, helped me for teaching and uh, I transfer the know-how for uh, uh, independent when uh, I stay in Italy. Okay. This machine uh, uh, artificial kidney and this, uh, com this machine uh, not more easy for uh, repair because they have uh, uh, electronic part, uh, hydraulic part, ma, uh, mechanic part. For this reason, it is important the teaching um, for more time. Ma this is no problem. I came uh, uh, the, last, the first time here ten years ago, three times a year. I think uh, half as marino now. It's a great opportunity for me to make a good use of training being provided by the Asthma of Calabria staff members. I'm learning how to operate and technically repair part of artificial kidney. These artificial kidney machines are of great importance to patients as they are life saviors. The patients are now able to do their daily life activities without any problems, thanks to the machines. Sister Saba. Bahal, I'm currently working at the dialysis center at Oratory Federal Hospital. 
Patients suffering from numerous kidney diseases come to the center with various complications caused by kidney malfunctioning. Once they receive the regular dialysis treatment here, the patients become conscious and feel no more symptoms. The dialysis procedure brings a dramatic change in the lives of the patients within three consecutive days, but this is a continuous process. This is in, indeed a great relief. We have been able to provide commendable dialysis treatment in close supervision of the medical staff from Calabria. We follow up maintenance service to the submissions we have here every four months, and as a result, the dialysis treatment is being provided in consistency. <laughs> Speaking of their future plans, the medical staff from Calabria said that such medical contribution will continue and that they have plans to establish more dialysis centers in other parts of the country. They also said that they are committed towards promoting the existing partnership, goodwill gesture as well as solidarity between the peoples of Calabria region and Eritrea. The staff members of the association have also expressed admiration upon the cleanliness and beauty of Asmara city as well as the hospitality of the Eritrean people. Our job, our work, we are happy here in Eritrea. We have never had problems. And uh, I think Italian people and Eritrean people are really the same. And uh, for us, when we are here, we can ask a macchiato, or uh, if you go in one mechanic, you can say, you can hear uh, acceleratore, freno mano. For Italian people, Eritrea is different. It's not like the other country. We love this country. <laughs> Architecture is really nice. Fiat Tagliero, or I don't know, Cinema Impero, or <laughs> Capital, yeah. <laughs> uh, Asmara Theater, and a lot of other things. Architect architecture is really, really nice. And, but I like to uh, Masawa, Karen, uh, the island. You have a paradise. Dalak Islands is really amazing. It's fantastic place. You have a lot of things.